This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hi everyone, I'm Brandon Lee. Here's what's happening right now in Arizona. The verdict is in. Former police officer Derek Chauvin has been found guilty in the death of George Floyd. The jury found him guilty on all three counts. Second degree murder, third degree murder, and second degree manslaughter. The trial went on for about 13 days with the jury hearing from witnesses, family members, and experts on both sides. They deliberated for roughly 10 hours. After the verdict was read, Chauvin was placed in handcuffs, then he was taken into custody. He'll return to the courtroom in about eight weeks from now for sentencing. He faces a maximum prison sentence of up to 40 years behind bars. Governor Ducey has declared a state of emergency at our southern border. It should be mentioned that the increase in border apprehension started in April of 2020, about nine months before President Biden took office. The governor is deploying the Arizona National Guard to get that situation under control. 250 National Guardsmen and women will be sent to the border towns and cities and assist state troopers and other law enforcement agencies. And while they're down there at the border, the governor says the guard will focus on helping with detention centers, installing border cameras, and analyzing satellite imagery. Governor Ducey has vetoed a controversial sex ed bill. Instead, he's changing the rules for how sex ed is taught inside the classroom. The bill would have banned discussions about gender identity, sexual orientation, HIV and AIDS, and sex ed classes for kids in K through fourth grades, unless parents choose to have their kids learn about the subject matter. Well, supporters of the bill say it's all about making sure that classes were age appropriate. Today, the governor called it too vague and issued his own executive order that requires all sex ed curriculum be posted online for parents to review and creates a process for any new sex ed courses to be added. Well, the governor lifted the mask mandate at schools on Monday. He's leaving it up to individual school districts to decide if masks are required on campus. He argues his order aligns with CDC guidelines, but the truth is the CDC recommends that all kids wear a mask while on campus. We did reach out to the CDC for clarification regarding the governor's remarks, and again, they tell us that students should be wearing a mask not only in the classroom, but in the gym, on the bus, and in the cafeteria. It is going to be windy and dry all day tomorrow, which means it's the passage of another low pressure center and it's going to be a red flag warning day, which just means there is extremely high fire danger, almost statewide border to border. We've got a wind advisory up in the high country. Our red flag warning goes into effect early tomorrow morning through 8 p.m. tomorrow night. So it's going to be windy and cooler down to about 91 cooler on Thursday as some cold air comes in behind that low at 84, 86 on Friday. Pat's run looks nice. Get out there early and enjoy the run. 4.2 miles at 93 degrees for the day's high. And we do have an outside chance at a shot at rain right here in the valley Monday and Tuesday of next week. All right, scene. thank you. If you're wanting more information about the stories we just mentioned, you can always download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Brandon Lee. Have a great night.